Hello. It is Friday, July 12th, 2019. This is the lower body workout. Now, here's the uh, customer service warning. Um, Public service announcement. Do not waste your time watching this unless you have a very specific reason to. I love that little bit of a trail, little nanosecond of when you go across this, the viewfinder is just not quite as fast at catching up. It's kind of nice to watch. Highly recommended if you're messing around with cameras at all. Cameras and viewfinders and all sorts of things. Okay, so what does the lower body workout entail? Uh, really four exercises, maybe a bonus today, but we'll go through the whole thing chronologically, what's going to happen here. First is a warm-up, then there's the exercises and maybe a bonus. In between all the exercises is a breathing uh, exercise. So, except for the warm-up doesn't really have too much breathing exercises per se. Hopefully a lot of breathing though. Warm-up consists of uh, three L-shaped chin-ups, four glide downs, seven inverted sit-ups, 13 push-ups, seven air squats, and lastly, six bends. The lower body workout consists of two sets of squats. I might do a bonus one today. I might do a, a third set, but it's on the squatting machine. I know that sounds horrible. It sounds like a toilet should be a squatting machine, but no, this is the actual workout machine that does squats for, or that I use for squats. It doesn't do the squats for me. That would be a bit weird. Uh, Then after that, it'll be Romanian deadlift, two sets. After that, leg extensions, two sets. After that, will be uh, single leg calf raises. Each leg, two sets. The way we're doing this is we're doing the sets. uh, First two exercises will be a set of eight, then a set of 10. Second two exercises will be a set of 10, then a set of 12. And maybe the bonus could be something like either laying down or standing up. um, Was it hip abduction? I don't know. Extending your leg out uh, laterally to the side. Maybe laying down would be the best way to do it. I don't know. Don't really have a good spot to do that with the, the camera being focused on it and on doing that. Maybe right here. I mean, a little bit of, yeah, here ain't bad. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to put this flashlight away and uh, we'll get started. How long was that intro? Ah, three minutes is not bad. Oh, yeah. By the way, watch this at double time if you can. And let's put some music on as well. Let's see here. Thank you. 
just fucking back pop on that one. In a good way. In a good way. I like doing this. Give me an excuse to do this stretch. I guess I don't do that stretch enough. doesn't call for some deep breathing, I don't know what does. I guess I really don't need lights in there. Basically got all my equipment set up for the exercises, so we're good to go. Everything's dialed in. There's a friend of mine, she gave me a, a rowing machine I've been using more and more recently. Thank goodness for that. That is an excellent way to wake up. It's like I got myself this morning with a choice. Either I could make my bed or do the rowing machine, but I decided I couldn't do both. Probably should have done both, but oh well. Bed was made up enough. I mean, it was still there. It wasn't broken. So, <laughs> made versus broken. And, uh... Did a little bit of the rowing machine, it felt so nice. Uh, I think that's a good angle. All right. Whew. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I got a spot where I can set my phone or maybe a tablet and watch something. Wait for the, wait two hours for the tablet to actually load up anything. It's kind of nice. Got my fan right here. Not gonna turn that on. Well, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can feel a little bit from the side there. That is a nice feeling. Don't think it actually extends that where I'm doing the push-ups, but it's a good fan. I enjoy it. Oh. Whatever that, oh no. Don't want those on the floor. No way. No way. All right. How's that? A little leaf. When it rains, I get leaves on my feet, leaves on my shoes, raining throughout the whole house. I try not to wear my shoes in the house, but sometimes when you're in a hurry, now I gotta vacuum this most stained of wonderful floors. 
like that band I'm in, Bane Couch. Parentheses, every staying has a story. Well, sometimes that story is not too exciting. Hey, I spilled apple juice. I'm not going to cry over spilled apple juice or grape juice or whatever the hell most of these stains are of. I really don't drink that juice, but apparently when I do, I spill a lot of it, so I probably shouldn't drink too much juice. Uh, I wonder if the juice in my refrigerator is still good. These are the things that go through my head as I'm procrastinating on something that should be pretty easy, but I don't know why I'm procrastinating. Oh, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. That's the warm up. Not going to be hanging out too much in here, so we can shut that thing off. Should I really attach this thing back? I think it's clean, it's just a little bit rusty. Get some zip ties or something. Seems like an idea. Probably even a good one at that. There's the script. There it is right there. All written out and good. Okay. Feeling good on so many levels. That seems like a great angle. I like that angle. most of those things have cases on them. And the one or two that didn't seem to land okay. All right, we're good. Whew. A little bit of a breath exercise, then we're into this. We're doing it.
weird. I think I slept wrong. The most likely candidate is I slept wrong. My upper back, thank goodness not lower, but upper back is hurting. But we're really way to tune it in and kind of feel it is breathe in deeply, and I really feel that the, the spots in my back. It's not really pain, pain. It's just a slight annoyance that's there. It's just like my body's letting me know, hey, there's something going on here. Uh, when it hurts, don't use it. Fortunately, it's leg day, so uh, or lower body day, because it's not all leg stuff. It's it's you know hamstring, a little bit lower back, and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully, more hamstring. Than but a little bit of both on that next exercise coming up. This one's already dialed in. Could have been the racquetball yesterday. I haven't played racquetball in a while, but I don't think that's upper back. Maybe, who knows. I did notice my joints were feeling a bit weird, both <laughs> knees and elbows for once. And I was like, wow, both my knees and my elbows are feeling interesting. Uh, good news is I'm not up in the weight anytime soon until these joints uh, situations, these joint feelings really, really dial down. And the great news is they dial down a little bit all the time. I'm not going to quit working out cold till they, uh, I've already once, maybe twice, no, once took a week off because the joints were like, Hey, maybe we can get better if you take a week off. But eh, a week didn't do a whole bunch, no, maybe three weeks. But that would be just an excuse to get off the wagon. And, uh, yeah, I don't like that excuse. It seems like just getting better with what I'm doing is probably the best way to progress forward. And it'll give me the most health in the long run. And it's not like it's actually into the realm of pain. I just do that, and I notice my joints are there. Just doing that. Same thing with holding my knees here. I'm feeling an interesting pressure, but just slight. Very, very slight, barely noticeable, just from doing this. So we'll see when actually I'm putting pressure against my feet. A little bit concerned, and if it turns into pain, uh, real acute, sharp pain, I'm going to stop. No matter what level it is, I'm just going to cut it. Um, not going to really push through it because I need these things for life, so being very careful with them. Another thing I'm feeling very careful with that I've started doing again I'll maybe show you in a little bit is uh, lunges um, but I've been using where like I touch my knee to the ground because that feels like the fullest lunge but in order to not slam my knee to the ground either I put a pillow there or I uh, go real slow so slow quality lunges a little bit of practice on that not too many just getting the form down and slow is interesting because it messes with your balance so that's a good exercise just for balance purposes taking that and we'll just do one on each leg, it's kind of slow. So two quality leg uh, lunges. All right, enough talking. All right, knees feel good. Feel a lot of pressure on my legs. Extend that all the way out. Gonna go back a little bit. I'm not gonna try to lock my knees. Not gonna try to, you know, that kind of thing. Overextend it, but definitely get maybe almost leg straight. That feels like my leg's pretty straight right there. A set of eight of these. This will be number three. Two, or four. Five. Six. Only going back to 90 degrees. Seven. interesting feeling this in my lower back so that's a I think this is eight I'm gonna go real slow all the way back there I'm feeling my knees feeling the pressure left knee on this time what got me into all this was trying to lose weight for my right knee because I felt something interesting uh, started to go for walks and jogs and started feeling a, a little bit of goofiness there and two years in a row a friend of mine was down he likes to run the beach and for two years in a row, I couldn't run the beach with him because I was like, man, my knee's doing some weird stuff. So that's when he said, hey, lose some weight. Every pound you lose is nine pounds of pressure off your knee. So, yeah. Now, recently, I've been gaining some weight because I've been 
eating some fast food and not eating my veggies and you know that kind of thing even if you do one meal a day having that one meal being <laughs> two egg McMuffins without meat probably shouldn't have had the bread on either just the cheese and the egg but I had the bread nonetheless and two hash browns oh my god hash browns tasty but there's probably so much saturated fat you can just see the grease on the uh, there I think they use like grease resistant paper but you put that down on a paper towel it just that paper towel soaks up a, a lot of that grease it's kind of amazing and it's also amazing that I'm, I, I think that's tasty and I'm putting that in my body. And my body likes it. It's tasty, taste-wise, it loves it. But So I did that this week. Did a couple other things like that. I can't remember the other things I did like that, but I just know that they were not even close to good. Not terrible. But, yeah. It's amazing how fast my body can throw on the weight. I think part of that was... Uh, doing uh, those long eat, those longer than 24 hour fasts maybe it wasn't I don't know what it is maybe it's just like some sort of I don't know I like small changes and uh, the small changes are good all right so another set of this we're gonna turn down the weight a little bit it's gonna be a set of 10 I almost feel like keeping the weight at the, this level or maybe upping it a little bit but at the same time I'm sticking to the script got a full workout to do script is long term there's part of me that wants to make up for bad eating last week and uh no i'm just gonna stick to the script keep trying to have vegetables every day i got some in my freezer right now i got some in a can in my house so the access is there also drank chocolate milk yesterday I had a lot of stuff that wasn't that wasn't on the approved list. No, Wednesday. Yeah, this is Friday. I should have done this workout yesterday. Instead, I did some racquetball. I figured I could do this on Friday, but I, I wouldn't be able to do racquetball today. So, I wanted to do this after racquetball, but hung out with my dad and got home. And as soon as I was home, I listened to my body, and my body said, "Lights out." And I was like, "Okay." Uh, anyway, so breathing exercises. done the workout had a conversation with a friend while doing the workout so I hadn't heard from him in a while so it was time to work out and listen do two things at once um, so that happened uh, but finished it up and now I'm gonna do a little bit of a bonus there was a bonus on there as far as the the squats were concerned I did throw a, a third set I had a lighter weight for 12 repetitions, but everything else was according to the script. Just to run it through the way the script is, I'll just look at it real quick. And this might be a bonus section, but um, Scout's Honor and all that kind of stuff, even though I was never a Boy Scout. Um, squat machine, uh, uh, a set of eight, and then lower the weight, set of 10, and just for the bonus, I did uh, lowered the weight a little bit, did a set of 12. Next exercise of that was Romanian deadlift. I'll actually show what that is. I'll just do one real quick. I'll do it with this tiny thing. And what that is is going like this, and you lean back, and you, you pull it up. So you lean back, you pull it up. That was the Romanian deadlift. And that was a set of eight, and then a set of 10 at a slightly lower weight. Next was leg extension, where I sit down on a machine, both legs go out, and they just push it, extend it, 
wow, I can't even extend it. Um, extend it forward like that. Uh, that was two sets, set of 10, then lower the weight, set of 12. Next was single leg calf raise. Had my foot raised up a little bit, carried a dumbbell, and then uh, just did that one leg. And then real slow, you know, that, the other leg. On a bit of better thing to raise it up than that. Uh, set of 10, set of 12. Um, the set of 12 was drop that dumbbell or put gently put down that dumbbell, pick up another dumbbell that was slightly less weight. And now it's gonna be the bonus section because I like the idea the upper and the lower each have a bonus section type, not even a bonus section. They have a, a set near the end that's like a set of 15. Um, then it's like a, a set of, you know, five, 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 five. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna finish this out this way. And this will be um, lateral abduction, I guess. I don't know. Kind of a, a Jane Fonda type exercise. With these on, I think I do have an ankle weight somewhere. Or I think, I may, oh yeah, I know what, what's going on. I think I have a, a friend who borrowed. No? I don't know. Anyway, maybe next time I'll do actual ankle weights as opposed to this. Um, I'll write that down later. I'm just going to do it now. Don't know really what it's called. Hip abduction leg, uh, lateral leg raise. Yeah, why not? Going on the ground, that's why I got the mat here. So hopefully this is recording. So yeah, I'll splice this together with the other video. And uh, you won't see the full workout, but hopefully you trust me at this point to, you know, I got it done. Oh, all right. So right here, I'm gonna do a thing where I'm doing a set of 15. I think I'll go up and then back and back and then up. That'll be uh, two, I guess. All right, I'll lean back a little bit. I got my weights right here, so not enough room for the pad completely, but it doesn't need the pad completely. One, two, three, Hurts more the higher you go up, that's weird. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Maybe that's fifteen. Hopefully it is. Take a little rest, I'll do a set of five. Then we're going to do this whole thing on the other side. I think I'm just going to do three sets because I'm doing back and forth legs. Do a quick set of, uh, well, we'll make it a set of seven, then a set of six. Why not? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. It feels strange. Seven, eight. It's not a muscle you use a lot. Nine, ten. 11, 12, I guess I'm going to 13 on this. So instead of 15, set of 13, it does feel weird right here, but it's probably a good bonus set just to get a bonus somewhere of something I don't really do. Um, maybe I don't want any really, really weak spots in my body, and that seems to be a pretty weak spot. So we're gonna turn it over, do the same thing over here. Oh, goodness. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow, really feeling it, 14. And I guess that's 15 right there. Oh, wow. All right, I'm gonna rest for a second. Maybe it's time for a breather on this. This is interesting. All right, I'm gonna go for a set of 13 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. 12, and there it is, 13. Oh, 
yeah, that is an interesting feeling right on the hip. I think it'll do good things. These things are fairly light. I think they're like a pound or two. It's nothing much. Maybe they're a little bit more than that. This is a good way to end the workout. Sorry uh, you don't get the full workout, but hey, if you need an excuse to watch a short one, this is a short one with the whole, basically the whole workout cut out of it. Um, just a bonus at the end. Just for you. Oh, I do have to do some breathing exercises, but I do have a template for that. I actually have some, my tablet, which I write down stuff on, so not gonna videotape that. Also gonna take a shower before I do that. And uh, just for fun, I'm gonna squirt down this mat a little bit. Oh, yeah, there's some sweat on there. Squirt it down with some cleaning solution. Cleaning solution because I have a cleaning problem. Probably don't clean enough. It's weird, I think I still have a scented candle going. Found a scented candle, I was like, oh, I'll try that out. I think they go for like 24 or 48 hours. Uh, I don't smell it anymore, I guess I'm nose blind to it right now. So there's that. I'd like to believe that you enjoyed working out. I know you're not probably doing this with me. Maybe you are. Maybe you're doing way extra and you're just like, oh my God, the breathing exercises all the time. Anyway. Putting things away, cleaning things up, feeling good about a lot of things. I feel like doing a breathing exercise anyway. I think I want this one to be with you. It's not gonna be a long one. It's gonna be me uh, down here. Whew. Oh goodness. When some things don't make sense. Uh, am I dreaming right now? Oh, I was gonna say something. I was gonna show that yeah, like the, the leg extension, this is a nice soft thing, so extend, or the, the leg, uh, whatever, uh, lunge, that's what it's called, forward lunge. And just like, it's so weird if you do it slow and you try to get your balance, try to keep your arms in, it makes the balance even weirder. So like, I keep my arms in and I'm already feeling off balance. And then like, just touch the knee and then bring it up. And sometimes my, heel extends on that. I don't know if that's a good thing. I'm gonna wipe this down a little later. Cause, uh, I do see a rag, but that's not the rag I wanna use. Oh. Yeah, you get to suffer with me. Shouldn't you be done by now? Yes, I should be. But alas, I'm not. All right. hear what I was just saying, you're probably saying to yourself, shouldn't you be done by now? But uh, alas, I am not. All right, so breathing exercise from here. Showed that lunge idea of tapping the knee and bringing the arms in uh, center-wise just for a little bit, bit of a balance game I can play with. All right, let's do some breathing. I haven't really done too much breathing from this position. Don't know if this is a good position or not. Weird balance angles.
It's good to be with you. I do realize that this whole situation, this accountability thing I'm doing is kind of lame. And believe me, I feel the embarrassment every time I turn that camera on. Um, but hopefully I'm at a point where I'm just kind of beyond embarrassment. And some things I know I'm there. Uh, a little bit of the stand-up comedy helped out with that. But just showing your weaknesses, you know. Yeah, and these workouts are pretty weak, pretty simple. Um, and just saying that makes me want to just push forward, go for intensity, go all out. But I'm committing to this path. And the reason I'm committing to this path is because I believe that this path will get me the health span I want in the long haul. I don't have any major health issues now. I don't think I have really any health issues. Um, I don't take anything regularly, don't drink, don't do caffeine. Caffeine was a big thing to get rid of. Not the hugest thing, I mean, there's people that quit smoking, so. But yeah, caffeine was my kind of crutch. Definitely a crutch for this whole, uh, you know, intermittent fasting thing. Caffeine was huge for that. Uh, but still doing it without caffeine. Um, stumbling a little bit, as evidenced by this week. But, you know, just because you stumble doesn't mean you should throw, a, throw away the whole experiment. And uh, pushing forward, feeling good, embarrassed by my shortfalls. Got a feeling I should be seeing more evidence of the workouts in my body, but uh, being happy with what you look like is a great thing in the present moment, but knowing that you're going to push things further and then like, it's weird. All these thoughts and all these ideas, some of them are so fragile they can change off of just that. Happiness is one of those things. The ideas and notions and stories and all that kind of stuff that go on in your head about yourself. Then there's actions. It's amazing you can be totally pumped up one moment and be like, yeah, I'm gonna do a three day fast. I still haven't done a three day fast. And like in the same day, just be like, just because somebody offers to buy you breakfast, you're like, ah, normally I skip breakfast, but okay. Good news is uh, I'll be past the 16 hour and probably past the 20 hour before I'm in any position where I'm being social and someone has a chance to offer me anything with calories in it. Definitely drinking. One of my favorite go-to drinks is just, uh, I mean, I keep a cooler for work and there's no food in the cooler. There's just uh, creatine, <laughs> there is Propel powder, and there is bottles of water. And yes, I refill the bottles in plastic BPA-free bottles. So I guess that's good. And one of the bottles is glass. So I might be going to all glass bottles, but I don't want three glass bottles clanging around in my uh, uh, cooler. Maybe put cozies on them or something. I don't know. But so far, so good in a lot of things. I wish I had uh, better things to tell you about. I wish I had better things to talk about. I wish I had better things in a lot of ways. I wish I had a, a notion that would just uh, say, yes, you were right with accountability. And I, I, the only bonus to you being right about accountability is no monetary reward, no, uh, I don't know. And then there's things I could say to myself further. So, notes for the rest of the world. For a little while I was writing a screenplay and it was a, a weird screenplay. It had to do with uh, two self-help gurus, right in the beginning. Two self-help gurus. One guy travels the world, goes into all these mystic places, mystic religions, and he finds out the secret to getting anything you ever wanted. He doesn't trust himself with that secret. So he talks to this other guy that's a different type of self-help guru that's all about 
uh, financial markets and all these different things. And, you know, definitely a, an Eastern Western philosophy, even though they're both guys from, uh, I think both of them came from like upstate New York for some weird reason. Anyway, um, similar backgrounds, uh, except for when they became adults, they diverged. Never crossed each other's paths though, but they crossed a lot of people that swim in the same circles that they did. Finally got, got together. And the other guy, very, you know, quintessential definitions of success. Um, anyway, we won't go into that, but what we will say is they finally meet for the first time. And then one guy says, listen, I have this secret that is get you anything you ever wanted. Or I found this other secret that you could have one thing, one idea, one notion. You could spread it out throughout the whole world. I don't trust myself with either one of them. So I'm giving these two, one of these two things to you. You get to make the decision. Well, this guy that's uh, not the mystic guy, but the other guy that's more down to earth, more uh, financially driven, he's like, okay, uh, you know what? I've, I, I've gotten everything money can buy me. I would really want to influence everybody in the world. I know it's just one, one idea, one notion, but I can influence everybody in the world on just one idea. Yeah, I want that secret. The other one I can pretty much figure out on my own and I can make it happen. So the guy says, he tears up one envelope, the, the secret to getting anything you want. Tears that up. Gives him the other envelope to make, make everybody in the world do one idea that you really want to implant into them. And uh, then he says, good job, here you go. Don't open it here. Wait till you're in a comfortable place. And so next scene is uh, the guy's in a comfortable place. The other guy's in, the, they're both in comfortable places, split screen, different places. As the one guy is opening up the envelope, the other guy's putting a gun in his mouth and the, the envelope opens, the guy reads it and the other guy blows his brains out pretty much at the same time. So what happens? I know, comedy, right? Um, so the guy that like looks at it, okay. And then he feel like voiceover a little bit and then he thinks to himself and he, the notion that he wants to really push out through the world is live every day like it was your last. Like he just comes up with like, that sounds like the best thing. So he makes that wish or whatever. The next day, everybody's living the, the, the that day like it was their last day. Almost nobody's showing up for work. There's theft. There's pillaging, there's rape, there's all sorts of bad things going on in the street because there's a lot of people living like there's no tomorrow. And that's where <laughs> live every day like it was your last, a comedy about the apocalypse officially starts. And maybe credits there or something like that. I wrote all these different situations and stuff, but I kind of got into it and it was just like, it was show, showing light on a portion of humanity that I kind of believe that's in a lot of people and I hope it's in a lot less people. Um, but rather than thinking about that portion of humanity, I'll think about this portion of humanity. When you take care of other people, when you feel like you're not in a scarce situation, when you feel like you have something to give, then you're more likely to be a good person and give and help and you know, help people that don't feel like they're in that position. My idea on changing humanity would be like, and I couldn't figure out a way to write this into the script, maybe a third guy or whatever that's not a guru of any sort figures it out and does finds the letter and then makes his wish and changes it. And the change would be something like, uh, couldn't write it right, but something like, take care of yourself. Get yourself to what you believe would be a, an okay life. Just okay. Then once you're at okay, you got a roof over your head, bare minimum sustenance, all that kind of stuff. You're, you're just doing okay. To get to good and maybe get to great, one of the easier ways of doing it is, uh, and this is focusing on laziness and all this kind of stuff because this character I was gonna write was terribly lazy. And it's like the world is saved by the world's laziest man type thing. Anyway, uh, get yourself to okay. And then when you're at okay, and you get a little bit more, give it to somebody who needs to get to okay. And this is not just necessarily money talking. This is just help in all sorts of different ways. And that goes back to my philosophy of uh, uh, my kind of notion. And I think there's a lot of people that have this notion that sometimes there's something terribly easy that you can do. 
snap of your fingers, whatever it is. Terribly easy for you to do. But it would change another person's life. And it's really all about that. It's just like, okay, do something that's terribly easy for you to do. But change that other person's life. And if that person, you know, that gets you to good. And if that person, voluntarily, 100%, without you pushing them in any direction whatsoever, gets to good. They, you get them to okay, and then they get to good. And then they snap their fingers or do whatever's easy for them. Maybe they have a talent for balancing books on budgets and stuff. And they find somebody who's having a hard time with balancing their budget, and they just totally just write a spreadsheet for them, put it on their phone, figure it out. I don't know what happens. And then that person helps out another person. That's when you get to great. So using this like almost pyramid scheme idea, um, like the one good pyramid scheme in the world, um, if that helps out. And I've seen it kind of played out with that whole like, I remember there was a movie Pay It Forward a long time ago that had a really similar philosophy type thing. But the, the goal here is find out what's terribly easy for you to do. And the easiest thing for you to do um, might be one of those things that might change somebody's life and get them to okay or good or wherever. And just make their lives better in some amazing way. Um, I've seen women do that. I've seen women do that with uh, certain guys and saw a guy that was probably on the verge of killing himself and uh, just got pity sex from some girl. And boom, next day he's just like, he was good for, I would like to say he was good for a couple months. I'm not sure. I didn't really keep up with him. Um, I hope he's still alive. But I've seen that kind of flip on its other side too, so I guess I can't really. But yeah, it was something terribly easy for her to do. Uh, I think she did it on accident. Thank goodness. I hope she never said, oh, I'm so sorry I did that for you or to you or whatever. Um, I hope that never happened. I don't know if it did. I don't think it did because, like I said, I think it was good for a couple months. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. So it, it's, it's horrible when you see somebody that you think you have that has everything. And um, you see that person just dying from loneliness. Um, and it's nothing I could offer them. I mean, not that I would, you know. Uh, even if that would have helped them, I, that, that wouldn't have helped me at all. I just definitely have no benefit in that. But, uh, man, I mean, I suppose. I, uh, you know, if I was smart, I could have. No, that would have been. I, I don't like to go over the illegal line. But uh, if it would have meant, like, him not dying, I don't know if he's dead or now or not, but like, and I don't know if he's a good enough friend for that per se. He just believes I was a good enough friend for that. And maybe that's because he was just drunk out of his mind. And, you know, I, I guess the loneliness sets in harder when you're drunk or whatever. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You gotta figure that one out. Well, actually, I don't have to figure that one out. But, uh, why am I thinking about this? I guess this is, uh, my clue in the back of my head to reach out to a few people. Good news is I'll do a little bit of that today. And I already have, I already have. Before this video, there was a little bit of reaching out. Valuing humanity. Here's another little idea. When you think about somebody and you hope they're doing well or you hope they're doing great, it almost costs nothing to make a phone call, send a text, send an email. God forbid you're knee deep in the Facebook, but a Facebook message, I don't know, if you're into that. You should probably do a little bit more of that, because I do randomly think of other people, and I just think, oh, I hope they're doing well. So to everybody who barely knows me, and to has at least had one exchange with me, I hope you're doing well. And you know what, I'll get even better than that, because it's easy for me to do. I really hope the world does a lot better and tomorrow, and a little bit better. Civilization gets more civilized. The theater of the absurd goes in its right place and is a birthplace of laughter. And we all get better, little by little, bit by bit. Later it shall be. Wow, I waxed way too long on that. <laughs> and you were hoping for a short video. I was hoping for a short video. Sort of, not really. <laughs>